how to install Android Studio on the Ubuntu 22.04 okay let's get started okay so we're going to install Ubuntu, uh, Android Studio on uh, Ubuntu 22.04 now it's not going to install it to the hard drive in in the application folder but this way it's only going to be able to be called from from the terminal it won't in, it won't install it to the application folder here you can only launch it from the terminal if you want to install it to the application folder you'd have to go into the pop uh, into the um, Ubuntu software store here and install it that way then that way it'll install it into your application folder so the way we're going to do it is going to be different we're going to install it from the from the actual Android website which is right here the developer.android.com so go point your browser here and then once you're there go to the Android Studio tab okay and we don't really have to scroll down anymore we what we need is right here at the top so we're going to download this tar file here scroll down accept the uh, the terms of agreement here terms and conditions okay we agree and we're going to go ahead and download the tar file here tar tar.gz okay we're pretty much done with the Android page here now we just have to wait for the download to complete here as you can see kinda of big about a gigabyte but I have high-speed internet so it shouldn't take too long let's just wait for it to finish I already downloaded it before so I'm gonna download it again for this video here that's why you have the one here and I'm gonna pause it for a moment while it completes I'll be back okay we're back and you can see it down it downloaded the tar file here okay so we're done with the browser and we're going to go to the terminal now over here okay now I'm not going to make I'm not going to make a Android Studio uh, folder directory in the home folder to hold the the extracted contents to we're just going to just redirect the contents to the home folder and hopefully it'll just create its own Android Studio folder. If not, then we'll create one. But for now, we're just going to CD into the uh, download folder. Okay. And we're going to find the tar file we downloaded. This is the one we just did now. That's the one I had before. Okay. It's a tar.gz file. So we're going to extract that with the sudo command tar x for extract v for verbose so we can see what it's doing z to uh, decompress and the f for the uh, for the file to be passed into it okay and then tar.gz okay and we're gonna I want I don't want to dump the contents here into the download folder either loosely or into a directory so I'm going to redirect the whole thing into into the home directory here. Like I said, we're going to do the home path here. Hopefully, it'll just create it. If not, we'll have to make one then. Okay, so it'll probably make it. So it looks like it's going to make its own. So we're good. And we'll just wait a few moments for this to finish uh, extracting. Bear with me for a minute. This is the V. If you didn't have that V flag you wouldn't be able to see what it's doing. It's nice to have. It's nice to be able to see it, you know, unpacking everything that's in the archive. So if you didn't have that, that V, that dash V, then you wouldn't see all this. You don't need it, but it's good to have. Okay, it shouldn't be too much longer here okay okay we're done okay that's good so we're clear out of there we're done we're done here go back to the home clear that and we'll try to find it 
And this is it right here. Yeah, okay, so it created its own Android Studio folder in the home folder. Okay, good. Now we're going to CD into that Android Studio folder here. Okay. And we're going to look around. Now this is a this is a nice folder here actually. Let me show you this real quick. This is a nice one. This is where you want to go to look at exactly what you have to do. This is the shell script we're going to run. Now this command would only run it from within the um the Android Studio folder and then later we'll put the um the binary on the path so we can call it from wherever wherever we are in the uh, the files the file system. Okay, so we're going to cd into the bin folder here and we're going to execute this dot stu dot forward slash studio dot shell script file here. And then we're going to put everything on the bin on the we're going to put the binary on the path later so we can launch it from wherever outside of the Android Studio directory. Okay? Okay, so let's clear this. And look at the contents again. Okay, we want to CD into the, the the bin. That's binary. We want to CD into there. So we'll do that. Okay, now we're there. Clear that up again. And we're going to do another ls. We're going to do another list here. Okay, this is this is the other uh, shell script file we, we need to execute here. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna check the, the file type because I know it's a shell script. But I, if you want to just make sure that the permissions and the ownership is fine, you can do an ls space dash l on it, and then pass that in. Okay, it's owned by root is the owner, and and the root group is the owner. But I can come in as an other and execute it with this. So I don't really have to do anything here. This could stay. I don't have to take ownership of anything. And I could execute it with the uh, X permission here. With the execute permission in the other set here. Okay? And I don't, don't believe I need to be in root. I think I can just do it as is. Okay, so we'll just dot slash it and enter on that and it should launch it okay there it is A little slow here, and then it has to go through all this loading of different uh, components and whatnot. Let's see how long this takes. Let me pause it. And I'll come back when it's done again. Okay, it's all done, and as you can see, it's been installed. It didn't install it to the application folder, but you have to run it from the terminal the way I showed you. So this is this is Android Studio. It's been in, it's been installed. Okay, we're going to close out of here, X that out, yes I want to exit, okay then this will, we can, uh, we can, we can okay that's, I th that, that's what was going to happen, it was just going to stop, <coughs> okay, now we're going to put that path on, on the, uh, we're going to put that binary path onto the path, the path system environment variable, in the in our bash rc file I already did it so let's just take a look at that we'll go back to the home here otherwise we'd have to always launch it from from within here we have to navigate here and then go through the same process we always went through we went through right now otherwise if you just want to always do it from the main starting point then we need to put that uh, binary on the path so we do that by editing the bash rc file okay and let me show you where that is LSA and we're going to edit this file here in nano
bat, dot bash rush, the dot means it's a hidden file. And the A is what shows the hidden files, the dot files. Okay? So we'll clear that out one more time. We'll do the nano terminal editor here. And we'll open the bashrc file. And I already did it, so I'll show you. Just uh, arrow down to the bottom of the file here. And this is the path that I added. This is the path that you have to put it right here. This is the syntax. Export path equals... Actually, this is the... Um, this is not right. This is the path I had before when I created a separate Android folder. So I'm going to... I'm going to delete that and just leave what I need. Okay, this is what we need right here. The home, and then you have that Android Studio directory, then the, the bin subfolder, and that's it. And then you add it to the path environment variable this way. So this is the path you need to add in the bashrc file so you can launch the Android Studio from wherever you are on the file system. Okay, I'm going to control O on that, enter exit then um, let's see let, let me uh, let me find out you have to source it otherwise you have to log out hold on one second now to activate to activate the the binary that we just put that we just put on the path we're gonna have to either log out here either log out or do a restart and log back in somehow that way now just opening and closing the terminal is not going to work you have to actually log out log back in you, you can either do that by logging out or doing a restart or if you just want to stay in the session do a source command on the on the bash rc file the home dot bash rc like that so we'll enter on that <clears throat> and we'll clear this now if you remember when we were in the binary, the, the, bin, the bin folder in the Android Studio uh, folder, there was um, a shell script called studio.shell. So we don't have to go there and execute it with a dot slash studio.shell command. We can just run it from right here now. Since that, that, that file is on, that, that, um, that shell script and its folders are on the path, we don't have to actually go there. We can run it from here now studio.shell so we can run it from here within the home directory now with this command studio.shell so we don't have to navigate we don't have to you know dot slash it or whatever it makes it a little bit more convenient I think you don't have to go you can just run you have to always remember you know the the the, 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 the command that you're gonna have to call to launch whatever program you want to launch in this case, it's we're launching Android Studio, and what we're calling is the the shell script here, that's in that binary folder in the Android, the Android uh, folder, main the parent folder. Okay, and then here it is. Again, unfortunately, this is not going to you know put it into the application folder here. You can see there's no Android Studio here anywhere no Android Studio right nope so if you want to if you want a GUI if you want to be able to launch it from the Android from the application folder you can have to go into the Ubuntu software store and install it that way so I guess the you know the the the, uh, the the main point of, of of doing it this way is it's a challenge. Anybody can just click on an install button and install it like that, or use APT or whatever. This is a little bit more of a challenge. You get more hands-on with uh, downloading, extracting archives and compressed files, and running scripts and looking for ownership and permissions and that kind of thing, and and putting things on the path and sourcing the path and the sourcing the the bash rc file and all that kind of stuff. Which is, you know, you're getting uh, your hands and your mind uh, dirty with Linux, you know. That's my that's my take on it. And also, installing it from from the the manufacturer's website can also provide an extra benefit in that it might be more current. 
Maybe it's got more uh, more features than if you were to rely on your distros package managers and whatnot. So, just something to keep in mind. Another way of doing things. Then you just come up here, and uh, you can just see that. Uh, that we have Android Studio installed. Even though it didn't install it into the application folder like you would traditionally, you know, the, the traditional expectation of de the definition of of installing something, it's still installed, I think. You can still say that it's installed. You just have to call it from the terminal rather than call rather than launching it from from the application folder here. It's still installed. Okay, so that's so what we did, a brief recap real quick here what we did you know, we uh, navigated to the Android, uh, developer.android studio uh, website. We went to the download tab, downloaded that tar file, extracted it to the home folder, CD'd into the binary folder, ran a shell script, and then we put that, that, um, the path that shell script was on, we put that into the bash rc file, we sourced it, and then we were able to call the program from within anywhere in the file system. In this in this instance we happen to do it from the home folder. Okay, that's it. Thank you.